Now, what if you want to run multiple cameras with such system? What I see, what most of the people do is take this code and replicate. So one, and we run the same code for different cameras. So three, four, and of course, as many as your machine can handle after on a desktop machine, after like six, uh, seven, eight videos, your RAM will be, RAM memory will be full and also your VRAM of the graphic card will be full, probably even before the death if you have a small graphic card. Does this system work? Yes, it works. It works without any problem if you have like some, some good hardware, but there are a lot of cons with such system. It's very hard to maintain because we have one code that you need to adapt for different scripts, for different videos and so on. And then it's not also user friendly. So if you to run many cameras each time, you need to run a specific code and so on. So this is what you might be doing or what many people do. If it works for you, that's fine, but that's not the best way to work with system or multiple cameras. And we have two ways of working with multiple cameras. Let me show you two different versions. We have more ways, like the system can be optimized and advanced and customized for each solution. But in general, I see two ways that we can approach this one. 